Hello friends, welcome to another cold North Carolina day. The weather has been playing with us, playing nicely and warm during the week when we're at work. And when we want to do projects on the weekend, it is freezing, right? So we're trying to warm the soap up so we can start today's project without breaking things. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of heaters going in here. Excellent. So last week we make this nice uh, display case. And this week, we made this set of drawers to go in it. So stick around, we're going to show you everything we did and how to do it. So today, we are going to finish our project from last week and we are going to finish our, our organization cubby here with some small drawers. So we need several pieces that are this thickness to make our drawers, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, going back to the two by sixes we used last week, we are going to re-saw pieces of the two by sixes to get the pieces we need. Okay. So we're going to do that and we'll get back with you. So we did a lot of cutting. That is the boring part of the job, right? Yeah, it's very repetitive cutting, but as you can see, we've got all the boards the correct. We hope we have all same, the boards we need. Yeah, but all the same width. Uh, and because of cold, we're going to do the rest of the cuts here in the miter saw. Okay. Because of cold, right? Like because that? of cold. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Cut this as a story stick. We're going to check the depth. Yeah, that's good. So then we're going to set a stop block. You can clearly see here the advantages of stop blocks. We don't have to keep measuring and we always have the exact dimension. You can do this for every repetitive cut you want to use and it works fine in the table saw as well. So this is a great approach to multiple cuts. I'm leaving here this because this is a very dangerous way to do this cut. You should never cross your arm in front of the saw blade. The Fosner bit is the best choice here as it makes a very nice clean cut and avoids any birding. So while a cold saw also will also work, the Fosner B does a much better and cleaner job overall. So this is the most inexpensive way. It is just an opening for your finger, right? This is the front of our drawer. So this is basically the drawer pull. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it is the, the least expensive way. You don't have to buy anything. Mm -hmm. It just wastes a little bit of wood, right? Right. And what we did here was a little jig because the Fosner B requires to be straight. So if we're putting only pressure in one side, it will want to Right, and this is something that we last week we damaged. Right. Remember, we had a, the F damage. Right, the F damage, and it worked beautifully, right? And again, a base because of the Forstner bit going through. Right. Right. So we're starting the assembly process, and we're going to utilize some hot glue and some brad nails. Got hot glue going along the edge here. This is the bottom of the first box. And then we're going to attach it and align it with the front. And we're designing this so that the fronts will actually just be the whole visible part of the box. You won't see the edges as they're inside the frame. And there are many ways to do this. We are going for the easy, fast. Again, this is a soft build. Mm -hmm. You have to upgrade it if you want to make a furniture for your house, right? Yeah, so if you're looking for something a little more fancy, there are other ways to do this, but this is what we're going with for this particular project. Okay. And as you can see, we've got some wax paper put down, and that was so that we wouldn't glue it to the table. It's attached a little bit to the wax paper, and now we're going to... Let's put it all together, and then we'll add the... Again, these drawers will not experience great stresses, right? Right. You don't need to worry too much. My preferred way to build those drawers actually will have been a... Yeah, finger joints. And with hot glue, you do have to work a little bit more quickly hot than with... Hot. It is very mm. hot, but you also have to work a little more quickly than you would with wood glue. However, that being said, it will hold it into place and be firm and set much quicker than wood glue. And we're going to brad nail it to, to keep mm -hmm. it. But again, the hot glue is perfect for this. Don't turn and turn because I, I need to know... So our first drawer is complete and we're going to dry feed it, I'm um, not dry feed it, feed it and make sure it goes in and out easily. And we decided for uh, 
Just for giggles, we're going to have two drawers with a pool, a figure pool, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put uh, brass pools on the other four. Okay. Is that what they're called, brass pools? Yep. And now you can see, take, take it out and put it here so we can show them. It's a decent sized little drawer. Again, this, this is intended for small parts, right? Mm -hmm. That's a big part. But, <laughs> but it'll hold quite a few things. So right. It's not yeah. a tiny little drawer, is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we finished the two top drawers and we're going to work on the rest. We've already started cutting, and by we I mean Elpida, some of the pieces for the drawers. And again, you can do all this way, right? We are going to decide, because we have some uh, hardware, the other four drawers we're going to put hardware pools, right? Mm -hmm. But definitely, this is an easy way. And do you like it, Mrs. DIY? Yeah. This is not a bad way of opening the drawers, you know. Just don't put anything sharp there. Right. So when you put your finger in, you know. You don't cut yourself. Right. right. But other than that. Yeah, so it's coming along very well. Yep. I want to point a couple of things. Usually when you make a drawer in the direction of the pool, this is the correct way to do it because the pressure you put is this way, right? So any fastener, I don't know if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but this, as you can see, doesn't look as good. In a normal drawer, you're going to have a face and you will hide it. In our case... We did it the wrong way because these are, are do not need a lot of strength. They're very small drawers. They're not intended for a lot of weight. Right. We have glue and we only did it so we cover it so it doesn't doesn't mm -hmm. look ugly, right? Right. But technically this is incorrect. Mm -hmm. The correct way is to go from the side so when you pull it, it doesn't have the tendency to work against the fastener right. direction. You know? So the fastener is still going to stay in right. there as opposed to having it this way, which it could come back out this way. But again, in a normal drawer here, you will have a face on top mm -hmm. okay. and it will hide it. Okay. All right. Excellent. That's what I wanted to say. So some time ago in one of our excursions, we found a, and how much we pay? $8.99 or $9.98? So for $10, we found this box full of beautiful things. Mm -hmm. So we labeled this the box of beautiful things. And when we want to find finishes or something quirky, we come and visit it. And today we are reading the, the box of beautiful things and we are getting um, the pools. some pools for our drawer mm -hmm. there. So we wanted to share that with you guys. I mean, for the amount of money we pay for it, we've used it on several projects, right? Yeah, and obviously we've still got a lot of things that we can find in here. Uh, and the little container was a good three, four dollars for, yeah, for sure. So of course. Know. All right, so we are going to use those. And as we said, we're going to have two in a very old fashioned way of finger pulls. And the rest, the other four, we're going to put uh, this style of pull. The so hardware we're, pull. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are very fine. We have a very fine uh, electronic style screwdriver for this. All right. Somebody needs to push the button. You need to push the button. I don't know where the button is. So there's the first one installed on that drawer. We have a few more to do. And Three more. Yep. And we will come back and show you when those are finished. So here we are, the six drawers are ready. The only thing that is left to do is to actually hang it somewhere on a wall. But wait, there is more. There's more? You can actually improve upon it, right? How? And uh, there are two things that we thought to either stain or paint the case and leave the drawers unfinished or the other way around. Mm -hmm. Finish the drawers and, and uh, stain or paint the, the case. So we're going to do one of the two and we're going to show you the difference. And this is actually a very inexpensive way to make uh, inexpensive wool look more expensive, right? Mm -hmm. so this is a walnut finish. Definitely you could use walnut to make this piece, right? You could if you were really going for a nice furniture piece and not like a shop piece. And you were going to spend about a hundred dollars. In walnut, you know? At least, right? So, this is kind of the poor man's way to make it look like walnut without spending the money. Right. The you can see walnut. the difference. You can see how immediately it changes it. Yeah, I always it love looks that. Looks good, yeah. yeah. So we'll come back and show you when this whole case is completely finished. finished. So how about material? 
we use the piece about half the length of this, and this is a two by six, right? Mm -hmm. That we bought last weekend, and we made six of these drawers with material left. Mm -hmm. So this is a very economical project, right? Yep. In fact, the the two by six was I try to remember eight dollars, yeah. nine dollars. I mean, like it was not eight, a lot of eight money. Eight bucks, I want to say. So the whole project last weekend, this week, came out of one board, and in fact, this is a left of that board, right? We used it. Yeah, it would be a little bit more, but right about that. But right. definitely less than eight eight dollars. Right. I mean, the project was four or five dollars. Yep. In wood and and again, these we had for us were fairly inexpensive from the box of beautiful things. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you buy them on Amazon, I think you can buy sixteen for about nine dollars. They are not extremely expensive, but if you wanted to keep it and under ten dollars, you could easily. You know, the, right. this is not a very expensive pro project. And of course, the drawers can be built in different ways. We chose here to be the simplest and the fastest way because this is for the shop, right? Mm -hmm. But you can definitely have uh, finger joints, also known as box joints. You can have miters. Mm -hmm. You can have um, dados. We've done dados before. And you can have um, uh, dovetails. All those are options. And now, will those drawers last long? I don't know. This Will is they? two years old, built exactly the same way and incorrectly. You can see probably the the nail marks here. It will build exactly how we build the, the other one. Mm -hmm. See the nail marks? Two years, we use it routinely. It has stayed straight, it has stayed true. And as you can see, it does the job it's designed to do. Mm -hmm. So yes, for for the purpose. Again, I wouldn't build a drawer that you will put a lot of heavy things this way. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, if you want to do it this way, Dato probably will be your best way, or uh, dovetails. Dovetails are a very strong uh, joint from drawers. In fact, they were designed for drawers, right? Mm -hmm. So here is the case uh, stained, and if you don't have drawers, that's also a finish you can go, right? Mm -hmm. And you can even contrast it with a big color in here, like mm -hmm. a red color or a, a deep blue or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, this looks very nice, especially considering it's a two by four, right? Two by six. six. Two by six, same. It's a tuba. A tuba. It's a tuba. Not to be confused with the musical instrument. Right. So I think even there, which is what we finished last week, Mm -hmm. You could leave it like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. And you can, uh, in fact, uh, Pida was thinking of for use of something if we make another one for hers. So this was a very interesting project for me, right? We went with uh, two by material because it's fairly inexpensive and this was a build for the shop. Uh, but we learned now that when you rezone it in anything smaller than half an inch, when we went to the three fourths, it had a tendency to bow. And that caused uh, difficulties if it was a, a furniture piece. If it was for the house, uh, we would have to restart and waste a lot of material. Mm -hmm. For this specific project, it wasn't a big deal because I don't, I don't really care, right? It didn't change the technique. We thought about uh, planing it in the thickness planer, but many people do not have a thickness planer, so we try to keep it real, right? Mm -hmm. For a, either a very rustic looking piece or something in your garage, or the workshop, or even, you know, if you have a, a sewing room, a C room or a he room, that would be perfect, right? Now, if you want it to look great, if you want it to be a, a furniture-like finish, you will have to probably use a thickness planer or a heck of a lot of sanding, which Mrs. DIY wouldn't mind, but... You or know. a different grade of wood. Right. No, I'm talking about using this inexpensive yeah. wood, right? right? Um, surprises for me, the drawers took much longer than I anticipated to build. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. Well. But other than that, you know, the build went uh, without many hicks. I don't think we have a lot of hiccups, not hicks. I was going to say or hicks. A, or or a hitch. Hitches. A hitch. yeah. 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 I meant to say hiccups. Yeah. Well, what did you learn, ladies? And what, what is your take on this? If it matters to you, uh, pay attention to the grain of the wood, right? Uh, you can sew it. Yeah. Sew it. Okay. So yeah, so we started out making the drawers and you can see that the, the grain was going horizontally side to side and we got all the way down here and went, oh, what did we do? We went and made one vertical. So then we just made a matching one so that it's still balanced. Um, and if, if it matters to you, it was a dig to me because I don't care. 
No. This is DIY and LP that really care about those things. It's not a dig to you. It's just a matter of this is something that we learned because we did not pay close enough attention when we did this one and we realized it and went, oh, what do we do? Do we take this front off and make a new one so that it matches or do we just adjust? And so we just adjusted. But again, if it matters to you as the you know next builder of this project, that's something that we learned. Okay. The techniques are going to be identical if you use high quality material versus mm -hmm. the two by four material. And I would like to make this again using cedar. We found out that the cedar we buy is of, of good quality, I think, and we never had problems with capping or bowing. Mm -hmm. we, we have had very good luck, I guess. Then again, we do uh, pass it through the thick thickness planer. Right. So, I mean, that helps, right? I'm sure it does. But that would be awesome, I think, especially uh, if you leave, yeah. we've well, got a really well, nice board here. I just wanted to show them. This is one of the boards that we bought. That's uh, that's cedar that has been run through the thickness planer. We didn't use it on one of our recent projects, so it looks really nice. And as you can tell, it's in really good shape. And it would be a very similar dimension to what we have used on this project. So yeah, I agree with you that it's going to be a good option. And yeah. I think I know exactly where it needs to go. Oh, you want it? I yeah, I take it. it I needs see. to go in my new room. I see. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right, folks. Um, I think we cover everything, Mrs. DIY. Yeah. What is your point of making this project? Hot glue is hot. Mm. Hot glue is glue. Hot. And again, you can use normal wood. Normal wood. Or wood glue. That's what okay. I mean. Okay. Or you can use CA glue. You can use any type of glue mm -hmm. for this project. Again, those drawers are not designed for weight. In fact, nothing we're going to put on them will stress them, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the size are fairly, is fairly small. You can see that there's a little bit of glue in there. But again, for a shop application or even a regular application, it's not uh, prohibitive there. So here we are. The, the, project is, the project is finished. And really nice pull action here. Pull action. Pull action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these are also... I don't know if I have a preference. Probably for the shop, this is fine. Yeah. Right? But I mean, for a better... But for finish. an interior, like, house application, that would be really cool. And really, the only reason I did those was because of the video. Because mm -hmm. I don't need them in the shop, you know. And, right. But we and, had them, and it didn't add any cost. And if we needed it for someone else, we remove them, because mm -hmm. as I said, it is not, they're not needed for this specific project, right? Okay. So, but they look really cool. Even though we just built this, it looks like an old piece of furniture, almost like an heirloom. And I really like this look. This is it. So if it's something you also enjoy, this is a great little project to start and finish your craft. So folks, this is our project for this uh, episode. We hope you enjoy it. We definitely enjoy making it other than the cold weather here in North Carolina. Other than that, it was a fun project to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of our rare two episode products projects. Primarily because it takes longer than you think. Like when you see it finished, this takes longer to build than a couple of hours, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if you like this uh, project and you want to support the channel, please give us a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps us. Also, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Again, it helps with the uh, algorithm. From Professor DIY, Elpida and Mrs. DIY, have a great week. Let's build something together.